Hello monarchs of the internet! Today I'm doing a tutorial on water marbling nails, um, and here is the final result in the hopes that you will actually finish watching this video to the end. And so let's get started. What you're going to need for this is a lot of things. <laughs> um, uh, two bowls of water, so one of ice water and one of just regular water. It's good if it's not super cold, like if it's just in between. And uh, right now I'm putting on a base coat and underneath black stuff underneath my nails. No, my nails are not in fact dirty. Uh, that is just old nail polish um, that is un on the underside of my nail that I didn't bother to taking off when I took off the rest of my nail polish. Uh, and uh, you'll see why that's important in a second and because uh, what I'm doing here is what I actually do to help the nail polish not to chip is I put nail polish not only on top of my nail but on the underside of my nail as well and if your nail is long enough to do this I would de definitely recommend it because it helps the nail polish not to chip as easily uh, and so yes and as you saw with the ice water um, if you put your nails I'm not sure why this is the case but if you put slightly still wet nails into ice water then it's like hardens them for some reason and it also makes them so that they won't chip nearly as easily so you can see me doing that against the other hand and I'm also just kind of getting the water droplets off of my fingers because I'm not sure if it's like sediment in the um, water or not uh, but sometimes it can leave little lines like if you let the water droplets dry on your fingers and so I just was getting a paper towel there and oh. Yeah, that happened as well. Oh, you also need toothpicks, uh, but preferably don't spill them out all over the place with wet fingernails so that you can't pick them up. Uh, yeah, it was really hard just to even get one fingernail with a uh, fingernail, one toothpick without messing up my fingernails. Uh, the pink stuff that I have is uh, like this latexy stuff that you put around your nails. Uh, I would not recommend this one. Um, this one I just got at Sally's because it was the only one there, um, and it's I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Uh, there's much better ones out there. Uh, it's pink for no reason. It smells weird because they put perfume in it for no reason, and I don't think it works particularly well. Uh, but you can buy this latex stuff to put around the uh, your fingers. Uh, so that this step doesn't mess up your hand and it's easier to do. So this is what the toothpick is for. So if you take, I'm going to do it again here in a second, um, but if you take your nail polish and make sure you've unscrewed all of the caps of your nail polish and um, after doing that, then you dip then you put a drop in the middle, and then out of that drop, well, unless the drop goes to the side arbitrarily, um, and then you keep putting drops in the middle, and then you make a design with the toothpick. And so there's lots of different things you can do. I just pulled it out from the center, um, just because I was doing something, trying to do something simple. Um, so yes, so that is how you do the actual water marbling bit. But um, I, this is the first time that I did water marbling, so actually it wasn't the best, so I decided to go back in and kind of fix some areas that I didn't like as much, so I just took a little brush and uh, painted over some stuff because there were some chips. Um, I think part of these chips were also because I did not take off the latex immediately after dipping my nails. Uh, I left it to sit, so don't do that. Take off peel off your latex when the nail polish is still wet. Uh, I think that's the best way to do it because otherwise the nail polish doesn't actually stick to the latex and so it'll flake off and it can flake off onto your still wet nail and then that's not pretty and then it's really sad because you spent like three hours doing this. Yeah, well actually I spent like two days doing these nails but because we're not done yet because I decided to also in order to cover up some bad spots I was going to put some gems on these nails to um, cover up the bad spots because as I've said before and I will probably say again half of crafting and arting is just covering up your mistakes so there was some of the gems that I put on to my nails to kind of cover up some bad spots and just to kind of accentuate a few places that I thought were really nice. 
I mean, these gems are actually not nail gems. I got all of these gems for like three bucks at Michael's. So, um, I don't know. Sometimes I think nail gems are overpriced just because they're nail gems and you really don't need quote nail gems. Like they're the same. They're just plastic, it, whatever. Anyways, um, after putting your gems on, um, and I just used the clear nail polish to put the gems on and here's a cool shot. Um, but I just put the, I just grabbed the gem with the, um, pincher things, name escapes me, uh, tweezers. I just grabbed the gem with the tweezers and then, uh, touched the gem to the brush of the nail, clear nail polish, and then, uh, stuck it on. And this is where I dropped my brush into the vat of nail polish, and I couldn't grab it because, like, my nails had nail polish on them. Um, this is again me fixing some more mistakes, um, and also it is important when you do gems to, uh, as I already did, um, to do a top coat, and, uh, because that will help the gems not to just pop off if you do a top coat over the gems. Um, so yes, here's me, uh, redoing this mistake for like the third time because I still wasn't happy with it and I still really wasn't happy with it, but I mean, literally nobody can tell, so I guess it's fine. Um, so yeah, here is the final shot, finally, of the final, uh, product that I did, and I don't know what I was trying to do here, it looks really dumb, but here's all of these nails that I've done, and, um, that's just about it, except I do have, uh, not, okay, words, <clears throat> I also have a cat picture to show you because I have no outtake. So here is the lovely cat picture of my cat, Sophie. Um, and thank you so much for watching. I have other nail tutorials on, well, one more, more to come. Um, I have another nail tutorials and beauty tutorials on my channel. So thanks so much for watching.